we're actually coming out of these fights uh, pretty well ahead. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. And if we start getting to the point where we're hitting this top end, then we'll start, like, spamming in rocks and stuff so that we can boost that top end and we're not wasting uh, healing and, and regen. Mm. We're only at 8% vampirism now. Let's go for the... Well, wait. Defense, magic damage, attack speed. We would drop evasion. Our evasion is 34% right now. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and hold that, I think. Let's see how it goes. Let's get another skeleton spawning, I think. Uh, maybe somewhere over on this side. And do we want a blood grove somewhere? Or do we have a blood grove? Yeah, we have this one. This area could get nasty, but we're getting stronger too. So I'm going to throw this in here. And we've got like the, the road lantern to minimize how crazy it can get. And if I start... If I put this in, I actually wonder if the... I wonder if... No, I don't think so. I don't think the Chrono Crystals is going to make this thing spawn anymore. But I think the more times we spawn stuff, the more of an option uh, to, for it to be one of these fiends occurs. So let's cover both of those groves. And it's going to spawn more skeletons. That might be risky. This might be a little too much, this area, but we'll see. Okay. Um. Go like so. Regen up. Vamp is only 8%. Uh. Evasion, yeah. Let's leave it. Evasion seems to be working nicely, like we're gaining health in these fights. I do feel like currently, like evasion feels very powerful, right? And there's ways to get this up over 34%, like kind of crazy. 10% chance to keep the card after placing its tile doesn't work for the golden cards. Yeah. Damage is increased by 20% of defense value. That would be good if we had, if we made, if we just did defense. Let's try this one now, see what happens. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Okay. Second thought just gives you a new batch to pick from. Doesn't spend points. That's what that means. Cool. So, 10% chance upon hit of stunning target for one second. I like that. Your HP drops below 30%. Your regen is doubled. That's pretty good for us. After receiving this effect and after every loop, the hero receives a bar of phantom protection equals 65% of his max HP. All damage to it is dealt ignoring defense. Oh, man. See, like, <laughs> this just makes you very tanky, but this would be good against, like, uh, the boss, right? I think I'm going to take this. And it's based on max HP, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spam down all these mountains now. Okay, so let's go... Where are we going to put this road lantern? Where are things getting a little bit intense? Probably over in this section. These stack, so... Let's do... Hmm. Maybe up here. It's going to prevent these goblins from getting out of control until I can get rid of them. Um... Yeah. And then I'll kind of do like an alternating pattern here for some of this. I'll build maybe a little mountain range. So we get the effects of stacking and we'll use the rocks to like spread out um, between meadows. I think that's all right. But we're only doing this because A, we are starting to regen more. And B, uh, this benefit of uh, basing this armor off of max regen. I think it's kind of nice. Or off of, uh, off of max HP. Uh, 
Um, okay. So max HP increases, and we do want that. But the regen and the evasion are pretty nice, so let's keep that. There's definitely ways. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to put some work into figuring out the best way to place those uh, meadows around the Chrono Crystals. This way, I was. For some reason, I thought that this this stacked, but uh, that was definitely wasteful. Good learning for me. Um. Hmm. It's a big drop in evasion, man. But like, well, actually, we're getting to the point where. By the time we get to the, the Lich, if we fight him again here, we definitely are going to be at, like, level 6 or 7 minimum, I think. And then these will be not as good. Uh, yeah. So let's just roll with what we have. Okay, so there's that armor kicking in there. That's super cool. And that actually... Oh, yeah. So what's cool about that... For these first couple of fights, we're just going to be able to regen all this stuff. Yeah, I got to take this one. It's a pretty nice boost. And I want to be able to continue staying ahead of that, if possible. Do a rock here, just to increase that top end. Uh, we'll do a meadow here. All right, let's get rid of the... Let's get rid of the evasion. That's fine by me. This run's actually turned out to be kind of nice. And I think we might be in a position to fight the boss, actually. Actually, actually, actually. Couple skellies. This will be a good test. Like, we're two hitting these skellies right now. That's very nice. Do I have any spots for more uh, Blood Grove possibilities? Um... Yeah. Plus, these are going to spawn more frequently. Here comes another big fiend. Okay, now, remember, if we start putting these down on the same tiles... Then they create that blood road that spawns those nasty, like, whatever you want to call them, uh, blood clots or something. I'm going to place this here, still near the start of our run. And do I have another village? Yeah, this one, right? So here's the goblins. Kind of gross, but quite strong, so that seems to be working out rather well. Alright. Big defense improvement here. I think so, yeah. Nothing I need to oblivion right now. Damage to all goes up. Counter goes down a bit. Small change in regen. Um... Damage to all looks pretty nice considering the amount of of, uh, of issues we have going on. But that counter, yeah, I'm going to throw this in. Uh, this is a straight damage improvement. And if we keep the damage to all right now, I'm doing 20 damage to all. Which I'm going to want to change before I fight the boss. But for all of this other stuff, I think it's quite nice. Um, Chrono Crystals. Okay. So I have all of our... All of these meadows covered. I could do this. And then I could put more meadows in here. And they'll all be activated. So those will be big HP per day boosts. Um, and look at the damage though. But that damage to all is like, I think that's worth keeping. So when we come around this circle, I think this is the test to see if this is ransacked or not. If that changes. Damage to all drops a bit, but you get evasion, regen, and defense. Yeah. 
another cemetery. Okay. So this is going to be a big, gnarly batch of fights, but with that damage to all, we should just be wrecking. Look at that, man. I've never seen damage to all this high. And plus, like, you combine that with, like, the blood grove for the roots and everything. Woo! That looks like it could get nasty. Put this one up here. Uh, do another meadow here. Up to 69 HP per day. Nice. And uh, let's throw in a little skelly up here, I think. You can spawn with a vampire. I'm fine with that. Now, let's keep the damage to all going. And at this next tile, let's see if that ransack village turns. Kind of lost track of it there, but... My intentions were pure. Okay, so... We're still spawning these. I also have one here. Oh, so maybe it is three full loops. Instead of just being able to place it right behind there. Spawning another chest. I'm going to do it over here. Um, we seem to be tackling this. So I'm kind of okay if we um, continue. I think I'm okay if we continue. Let's put this one there. We got bandits. Yeah, maybe I should have just oblivion bandits or goblins. Do that. And I might vampire this also. Ooh. This is much better defense at the cost of regen. Here's straight up regen at the cost of five damage per all. Uh, but that's 4.2 regen per second. That's that's no joke. And then we have attack speed stuff, which we might want to might want to save for the boss. Depending, we're getting pretty close. So, Ooh, that's a lot of orange. Okay, so this is not only an armor boost; it's going to remove some damage to all, which is fine. We kind of want to start filtering that out now. Maybe by the next uh, trip around, we can end up. Uh, Fighting the Lich. Um, we probably want to place things in here to stop his palaces from spawning. Let's throw this in. It's a little bit less defense, but then it's adding two, so it's four less. Damage to all is fine. Attack speed is great. Um, the mace is a damage boost for sure. And it's magic damage and damage to all. So that's fine. So we need the we need that boost. I really want to make sure I save this attack speed ring. Um, for example, if I replace it with regen, 4.2 per second is nice, but like the boss is going to attack like what two or three times per second, and if he hits us, he's way he's hitting us for way more than 4.2 seconds is going to regen in that time. So I think the attack speed could be um, pretty valuable there. I don't know if we get that armor to go into the boss. I would presume that we do, but I'm not sure. Oh, these are crap. Let me keep moving these things down just so I don't accidentally get rid of something good. And hold on. These road lanterns could be massive upcoming. Uh, yeah, I'm going to stack this here, which is just going to simmer this down a little bit. And I probably should put something up there. Or, you know what? Let me do it around our base to get rid of some of those uh, potential lich palaces, as I was saying. Mm, yeah, this is good. Oh, what's this ring? Attack speed and regen. You know, that might be the way to go. But I still feel like, I still feel like the regen versus the boss, unless you have like astronomical numbers. If you could get this into double digits, maybe. But this is kind of like the balance between this current ring and the attack speed ring. All right. All right. 
Mm, I think we keep what we have there. That chest was kind of bunk. I can. Oh, I can't spawn in skellies. I have to be on the road. That's right. Okay. We're gonna get another trait here as well. I think this would be the, the right time to fight the lich. I feel pretty confident here. We're quite strong. Um, put this down by the chrono crystals. And all my other chrono crystals are inside, so we'll just activate this. I could probably spawn the boss with just the cards that we have. Be close. And we are maxing out here, which is a good sign. It does mean I should probably place more mountains and stuff. Uh, Chrono. Okay. I guess... I mean, I could go here, which doesn't provide me an immediate bonus. Uh, oh, you know what? I'll place it... Oh, this is gonna really spawn a bunch here, but that's okay because... Yeah, I think this is fine because, uh... This is our last loop, I think. This will activate this one, and then I can put a meadow here and activate that. Yeah, that'll work. Speaking of, beautiful drop. Beautiful drop. Straight up huge defense increase. 20 to 30. We lose attack speed and damage to all. Uh, so that's probably a good one to save going into the boss. Let's do something like that. We'll hold those two. See where we go. This is a pretty nice damage increase as well. Uh, so if we look at 23 to 35 plus magic damage, it's really 30 to like 42. Which is kind of similar. Plus it, it just ignores armor. So I think the mace is still strictly better. Hmm... I guess we could save that shield, although it's exactly the same as this. And I want to place this vampire mansion by our spawn, I think. Yeah, we're definitely going to be able to summon the Lich. That's no, no question there. Alright, so... Let's place that here. Now I think I can't place anything else. <laughs> Vampirism. Uh, maybe. Definitely want to keep this. Definitely want to keep that. Where's my damage to all coming from right now? The shield. And the mace. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and place this now. Uh, this should okay. We're one away. That's fine. Mm, can I get any other doubles? Not really. This is gonna summon the lich. Oh, okay. I feel okay about this. And now I can just start spamming everything. And now what we want to do is we want to focus our build entirely on a single target um, enemy. The Lich. So... Oh, cool. Okay. So there you go. There's the Lich Palaces. I've actually never taken the time to actually look at what they look like. Um, but he's going to have HP and damage increased by 15%, which kind of sucks. If we get lucky and we get an Oblivion... And uh, that would be pretty helpful. I'm going to place just anything that we can. I'll place a grove like... Sure, it doesn't, it doesn't matter at all. And I can place anything in front. We still have a long ways to go here. Okay, hold up. Is this any better? Attack speed. We definitely want to filter out damage for all stuff. So hold on. Things are getting pretty gnarly here pretty quick. 20% counter. Um, no. It's lower armor. 
the attack speed we want to save. Um, 22 to 34 with 16% attack speed, maybe. If we start stacking that up, that could get pretty wild. Yeah, okay, cool. So let's let that roll. There's an Oblivion. Excellent. So let's Oblivion one of these suckers. See you later. Bye-bye. Um, we'll do a meadow here, and we'll finish off that treasury. Didn't get anything really substantial. Counters for the boss don't really matter because he doesn't attack a lot. If, there, if we have an enemy that's going to have really high attack speed, then great. But uh, I think we want to focus on our attack speed, maybe some evasion, but we don't have a lot of evasion options right now. So let's let this roll. Oh, we got double oblivion here. We're going to get rid of two Lich Palaces. And we'll throw in another meadow. We'll throw in another rock. And uh, chrono crystal somewhere, maybe? Yeah, let's do this. And then if I get more medals, I can put it in there. We're already activating that one. We at least I at least feel like we're very strong right now. But who knows? Maybe that could turn. Nice thing I like about this too is you don't have to really worry about your weapon switching it right before the lich. You can switch them in the fights, right? Okay, can I benefit from any of these? Not really. I suppose I could maybe get another... I can get some more resources, potentially. Oh, and we got another perk. Man, I always miss these. Deals you a full hand of Oblivion cards. From now on, using Oblivion cards... Heals hero by 10% of his max HP. Holy smokes. That would be really good if we were in a bad spot. That would be a lifesaver. 1.5 damage for every potion used. We're not even using potions right now. If your HP drops below 30%, your regen is doubled. And, like, we might be swapping out our regen, so it's tough to say. These are not amazing. Um... We won't even use this in the fight, I don't think. And if we do, that 1.5 damage will not help. This would be good, I think, at the beginning of a run. And you're just stacking up permanent damage, it seems. Doubling regen against the Lich who hits so hard, I don't think it matters. So let's do this. Full hand of Oblivion. And uh, what we'll do is make sure we pause, like, right before and make sure that we're at full health. I think that pretty much guarantees we can kill the Lich. Hold on, I don't want things to be falling too drastically here. Okay, can I chrono anywhere else? Um, I mean, I could chrono, I could chrono there so that, so that uh, we're hitting that outer one. It's not currently getting hit. And I could also just, like, <laughs> destroy stuff in front of us. I'll fight the bigger enemies. Like, I want to fight this guy for sure. Um, these little guys I'm just going to get rid of. I want to fight this. I should have waited to do that because I might... I'm going to take damage here, but... I mean, we can just oblivion a bunch of stuff. And we're still... We're, like, barely even needing it. Kind of insane. I definitely want to get these rocks down. Around other rocks, preferably. Uh, let's mount in this. Let's 
keep these. I'm really surprised. We, we've been holding these for quite a while and not getting anything better. Kind of powerful. Where are we? We're here. Fine. Hey, I don't remember you. You don't look like a local. That's because I'm not. I see. You think you can just wander these parts without consequences. Times are rough, you know? Nothing to bite, nothing to wet one's whistle, and we have to deal with strangers who have no sympathy for our poverty. What? Think you're better than us? Uh, no. Did I guess right? Is this the correct answer? Because I'm getting the impression this is one of those cases where my answer is zero influence on what happens next. But you've got insight, and it's the only thing you will keep today. We'll see. Hmm, vampirism 20%. Hmm. Nah, I think we're gonna go on attack speed here. Hope that idea works out. I'm gonna think of it, murderers and thieves are part of this world too. If my mission is to return everything back to normal, should I be happy they're appearing again? On the other hand, being disgusted with murder and theft is also part of this world, so I guess I don't owe it to anyone to be happy. Let's make sure we go into planning phase here. Oh, okay. Now that could be interesting. So we're in the last possible spot here, which is awesome. Uh, might as well collect resources. I can't quite max it out. That's okay. Um, what am I going to do? I could oblivion some stuff to heal. That's all fine and dandy. Uh, I'll oblivion in this last lich palace. Okay, so now we're healed up. So here we go. Let's build now to fight the lich with this new drop that we just got. So this one is attack speed. Oh, this is the wrong attack speed one. This is the one with regen. I must have let the other one drop off. My bad, that's okay. Um, so damage to all we don't need. So, see you later. Vampirism, a little bit of extra defense, magic damage, uh, not bad, versus just like 30 defense. That's a 10 increase, but this is a 6 increase, so I think this is better. Uh, this one does damage to all, so we don't care. Now, we have, again, damage to all, so I think we're going to replace this with attack speed. And I think we're going to go attack speed here as well. It's going to get rid of a bunch of regen, but again, I don't think that matters against this hard-hitting boss. So I think I'm good. I think I'm good with where we're at here. We're going in with 8% evasion, which is, you know, not a big deal, obviously. We don't have any better armor. Actually, I can get rid of the little bit of evasion that we have. And slightly less max HP. Like, very slight. Um, but get more defense and get more attack speed. I'm doing it. Might be a weird trade going from 8 to 7. But I think that's fine. Uh, we're at max health here. We still have some potions. And, uh, yeah. Let's rock. Now, I don't know if he changes each time we face him or anything. How is it possible... That's right. You hadn't... Yeah, wait. This conversation... I remember it. I've already killed you. What the hell is happening here? You killed me. It's... I see. There's, that's how it is. I'm just his after mage, not the original. You have no idea what you've done. Oh, okay. And how many times will I have to do this world a favor by slicing you in half? The other thing I gotta keep remembering to do is putting down... Um, putting down uh, these carnivorous roots on the boss. Because then at 15%, he's just toast. I don't think that you're able to comprehend this. I'm a part of the self-defense mechanism, a multitude of copies sent to different realities at the moment of death. My destruction cannot be fixed, but in an endless series of attempts, different outcomes are possible. I defeated you once, and I can do it again. I hope so. Plus, look at... We got the armor. Nice. Um, it says here, like, vampire aura, but I'm pretty sure they only get that if uh, a vampire spawns, which it doesn't.
Yeah, this is... Yeah, we're crushing them. We're crushing them. And we're doing this without evasion. That's nice. Going all attack speed, that armor is certainly helping. Damn. That was a slaughter. I couldn't change anything, but your victory won't change anything either. Eternity will grind you to dust, and I'm just a small gear in that process now. Killing you makes me stronger. I won't need an eternity. Now be gone. Okay, so choose a reward. What is this now? Okay. <clears throat> Axis tilt. Time flies 25% faster, which means your healing per day is increased. Happens more frequently. A resurrection charge could be nice, but I kind of feel in this game, like, if you die on a loop, you're going to die on the following loop. 5% chance for a chest to spawn on top of a killed enemy. Not bad. Our map is pretty packed with enemies. Um... 25% faster means we essentially are getting 25% extra HP, which is no joke. Healed. Healed HP, to say the least. Because now what I'm thinking is, yeah, we could take these rewards home, but it would be really cool to see what the next boss is so that we could start to figure out, like, how do we plan for that? Because eventually we'll be able to get to the Lich and beat him, like, very, very quick. Like, easy. And then it'll be, okay, now getting to the next one and figuring it out. I think I'm going to take the heal. Your boss has been defeated, but your journey doesn't have to end. You can retreat the camp with all your findings. But remember, the world will forget all your deeds. It always forgets. Oh, so actually, I might, be, I might not be thinking about this correctly. It might just be a different boss at the end of the chapter, at the end of the next chapter. And maybe here is just keeping resources. I'm going to stay. I can easily make it around. And I can retreat with my resources uh, when I get there. But I want to see what happens to this boss progress. 